What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Store. We made it to Winden uh, City and I'm trying to figure out where to go. I thought we were supposed to come in here, but I think this is just another train station. It, it looks nice, I'll give it that. Oh, but actually, what is this? I think we can transport ourselves. Yeah, let's go to the Winden Stadium. I think that's where uh, Hop went. But as you guys can see, I also changed up my... Uh, my character's clothes, I, they have rocker jackets here basically. So I put on a blue rocker jacket, got black rocker jeans, and yeah. <laughs> so he said meet him at the Winden Stadium. So here we are going in and I wonder if they're just gonna immediately start us off on this. Uh... Oh wait, Pokeball guy. I could tell you're following your dreams. That means you guessed it. I got a Pokeball for you. Yes, sir. What you got for me? A Dream Ball. Okay. Oh, that looks decent. I don't know. I think my favorite Pokeball is either the Luxury Ball or the Premier Ball. I don't know. I kind of want to put all my Pokemon in Luxury Balls, though. This is the reception desk. Turns out I was the first to register for the Champion Cup. In other words, I'm already number one. It's pretty much in the bag that I'll win this thing. Blades, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Bede couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I didn't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down, you know? You know what I mean? I guess it is what it is, though. Come on, Blades, we should head to the locker room. I'm actually looking forward to fighting uh, Marnie. Attention, gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Okay, so they just have us out here. It's time for the semifinals. I'm very curious about who will win among the four who completed the gym challenge. Oh, when you're ready, please head for the pitch. Let's look at this room first. Can we read this? No, I thought it would tell us who's out there so I don't even know what to expect because it looks like the elite four or the champion cup is literally you going up against the other people that completed the challenge I don't know why I didn't think about that before but now I'm trying to decide do I want to start off with my Lodic or do I want to start off with Coloss? I'll probably just start off with my Lodic just because my Lodic can kind of take some hits Oh, it's Marnie. Heh, I need to get all the badges that meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us. What with my big brother, Team Yell, Help and Spike Month and all that. But the truth is, when it's all said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. Oh, okay. Just like that, Marnie? Looks like she has a dust ball too. I gotta win this if I'm gonna be the champion. I'm coming at you with everything I got. Okay, yeah, we are pretty over leveled. But, I don't know guys, I like having type advantage too much when I play Pokemon. So, since she's a dark, she's just a dark Pokemon user, or dark type user, I think I'ma just have Grimmsnarl sweep her whole team. Yeah, use Nasty Flat, I don't care. Toxic Pro. Yeah, we're gonna switch you out. Um, and put out Corviknight. We'll just spray bird the hell out of uh, Toxic Croak. So that means she's gonna 
Dynamax her uh, more Pika. Yeah, this is a, a whole sweep. Maybe that's why they didn't make Victory Road that long, because they they just they just knew it was gonna be too kind of easy. And now I think about it, the only I have what I think two or three Pokemon to basically be a good counter for Leon whenever we get to Leon. So. Well, more so a counter for his charge. I don't know what other Pokemon he has. I just realized her, uh, her phone or Pokedex is yellow. I kind of wish we could. Oh, okay, she didn't Dynamax it. Okay, I'm kind of glad I didn't Dynamax then. Crafty. Yeah, this is a times four to. Okay, she has one more Pokemon left after the Scrafty. Oops. Guess we'll just drain and kiss you, bro. Or sis, since it's a female Scrafty. I don't know, I think it's kind of crazy how there's like a perfect Pokemon to counter Marnie. Oh, you got a Grim Snarl too. Uh, well, that means I'm sending out Toxtricity. And looks like we're gonna Dynamax. So I guess it makes sense on her picking up that since Grim Snarl is a dark type. I got everyone's cheers backing me up. I'm really, really gonna win this time. Got it? I mean, I guess. Did it just say that he was thinking about camping? Let's go, girl. See, I put, uh, well, no, we got Toxtricity in a luxury ball, so I don't know. It looks pretty cool to me. <laughs> I like how he just strums his chest like that. My bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon if it's to win. Wait, that's what Grimmsnarl's Dynamax form looks like? As a Digimon fan, I don't know why I feel like this is something uh, Piedmon should DNA Digivolve into. you were trying to do with that one bro these fairy type moves don't do nothing to me fam that's actually nice I didn't even know Grimmsnarl had his own custom uh, Gigantamax form Okay, that was a decent amount. Foul play. What does foul play do again? Use your turns to target power against it. Alright, it's target attack step. Nah, we don't need to use that because I don't really care for that. I have Sucker Punch. And Sucker Punch also came in clutch when it came to me catching Pokemon. It's all right to cry, Marnie. Okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of good points of you and your Pokemon. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. 
think I'll join my brother in the stands and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. Blades. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handedly, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you to be back up on the pitch. <laughs> oh, they heal up your Pokemon each time, so... Okay, uh... That's interesting. I think I'm gonna start off with uh, Colossal this time. I don't like neglecting him too much, but that's basically what's been happening. <laughs> I should give my team held items, but I don't know. I guess I'm not really feeling using held items this time around just because I feel like it's not necessary with the way we're leveled. But that makes me wonder what level uh, Leon's Pokemon are. I just had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember back when we were still in Postwick, when we got our Pokemon from Lee that day? I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. Yeah, I thought I was going to battle one more person. But it's time I finish what was started that day, got it? The one who'll become champion is me. Okay, I like how he's, he has like a new pose now. Is that a new throw too? I don't think he normally ever threw his Pokeball like that. <laughs> My guy's like swag. We battled back in the garden, but I'm really fired up for this match in the stadium. Let's use Tar Shot. Ooh, I'm glad we avoided that. We're gonna use Tar Shot and then Heat Crash. Or maybe I should have just sped my team up. Boy, it rose drastically. Oh, it didn't even help. <laughs> I knew you'd be aiming for a super effective hit. Oh, and it was a crit. Maybe that's why it fainted. <laughs> that's clutch for me. Snorlax. Uh, for Snorlax, we'll send out Rillaboom because he has Brick Break. Oh no, big Pokemon versus big Pokemon since Rillaboom is... What? 7 3? 7 11? Somewhere in that big old range I just made. Is Heavy Slam a steel move? Yeah, it's not going to be very effective, I think. I don't know, Rillaboom just has a really good physical attack, so... It just makes sense to put these moves on him. Corviknight. Of course, we're going to send in Toxtricity. And we're going to use Overdrive. Rock Blast. No. 
I don't really see myself using Rock Blast like that. Pin Kirchin. Was that the one that turned out to be electric type and I just couldn't tell? I don't know, we're gonna send Rillaboom out there and use a ground move? I don't know, it's between Rillaboom and Colossal. Yeah, I wish I had Earthquake on Rillaboom. That would have definitely taken out Pink Urchin. I like how it seems like the fans are like clapping on beat with like the music and stuff in the background. Inteleon? I'm gonna keep Rillaboom out here. Then you got me back into a corner? No way. This will just make my victory all the better. Was this your last Pokemon? Yep. So, we're gonna Dynamax. Release all the thoughts poured into my Wishing Star. Time for a Dynamax. It's only right we have our starters go up against each other. But you're not the only one that can Dynamax, bro. We out here. Let's go, Rillaboom. Three hundred and twenty health, max hail storm. Ah, you taught it an ice move. How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. But it wasn't enough, bro. That tight matchup. And it was a crit. We've been getting pretty lucky with all these crits. I wonder if the top is going to cry now since we beat him. Okay, bro. Blades, thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger has won their way through all the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenges, Challenger Blades. You know, even when Sonya was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really never felt like one. But you, mate, I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Blades, and Colossal, and all the rest of your team. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Why you gotta pose like that, Leon? Blades, that was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town built up the greatest team in the right here at this point to throw everything you had at one another? That burning desire to win. Those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first, that was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger, and the challenger standing before us might as well end up being you, Blade. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. Blade, the real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. 
Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we go get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but... You never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. At night, like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. Challenger Blades. Hey, Challenger Blades. Got some time for questions? First question. You and Challenger Heart were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? Uh... Dang. I'm gonna just say I'm glad I could beat him. Right, question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? That he was just the rival I knew he was. I'd tell him he was, how strong he was. I'd thank him for the great match. Question three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. All right, that's enough. Blade's already tired from the battle, and you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner points with my brothers, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Whew. Famous people sure have it rough, huh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Several hours later. Yeah, what happened to Leon? This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep to his own dinner plans. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that nosy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? I'll pack it in, Piers. Or Piers. Piers? I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Yeah, why would he go there? Don't know what's he up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he has something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. But why is Rose Tower? Why could he have to do this at the... What could he have to do there at this hour? I'm gonna just call him Piers. Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Blaze nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings, always so demanding of others. Though I suppose it's a real problem for me too if the finals are held up for any reason, and I don't really hate the two of you little runts. You were good enough to beat me after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yell along and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant, you're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. Yeah, that is interesting. What could cause him to go there? I know it's gonna be related to like the Wishing Stars and Dynamax. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Blades. We decided that Team Yell would cheer you on, Blades. Let's help out together. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Olina? Miss Olina? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. Don't tell me we're about to battle with you or something. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kind of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? What should we do? Uh, this isn't good, but I got this one. Blades, Team Yells Yelling will handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yeah. All right, let's all work together and head for a rose tower. Let's 
Let's find Olina's league staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? Dang, I didn't really pay attention to the guy like that. But guys, I'm in this episode off here. I feel like we got a lot done in this since we beat Marnie and Hop. We took out both our rivals early on, which I kind of wish we didn't. I wish we got to face them further down the line, but that's fine with me. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.